some time ago you guys would remember that nana poku had actually made a video responding to dr abel damina or pastor abel damina's messages about tithing not being necessary <laughs> okay something that we do out of the generosity of our heart when we give in church and so forth it's out of generosity it's an expression of generosity and so pastor abel damina has actually <laughs> responded we're going to go to that video, but I'll just remind you a little bit of what Nana Poku said, and then we'll go over to what Pastor uh, Abel Damina actually responded. It's the Chiari, the show, we do daily Christian commentary videos. It's the first time over here. Be sure check out some other videos that are down in the pink comment. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you over there. Without feathers, I do. Without fair, what? I mean, I be, he must be very careful. That stupid thing he's saying. If no pastor can rise, Nana Poku will rise against him. And you know, we have some stupid church members in the church. All of them curse, we follow them. When they told me, I said, now I must go to South Africa. This is my call to South Africa. Mm. The gods are dead. Is he not aware there are no gods? There is only one God, and he lives in me. Glory to God. Someone like this, I Let me tell you, to someone like this, uh, if he's in South Africa here, I will arrange big work for him. Big work. <laughs> Somebody like this, you don't have to sit down. In the work of God, when you spoil it, we need to kill you. Like one of those Tata, one of those charlatans. Say, tell Dr. Delimi. <laughs> tell the other guys in Africa. I get people to kill him. Can he kill a chicken? When we made the first video, I made it clear. I don't know if Narapoku doesn't know that the things that he says. Not only are they wrong, but they are not legal. Like you, you can't go around just threatening people. Yeah, it's not. That's not. It's not jungle well. <laughs> you know, I don't know if he knows it. I asked it in the first episode because it is concerning when a person is used to some form of barbaric behavior that they continue on. So that's why I had asked that question. Does he know that the things that he is saying are not even legal? You can't go around telling people that you're going to kill them. Yeah, it's not legal. Like, by, by constitution and by right of life uh, that humans have under whatever government that they are under, they are not to, you know, they are not to live under intimidation of one person or the other. And so that's why I asked that question in that first episode. But very clear, Nabu continues on in this behavior and a weird and strange thing that he keeps talking about, that he keeps talking. But on top of all of that, the response that comes is that he can't kill a chicken. <laughs> can't kill a chicken. And so I think out of that is to remind us that they, we are very human in our limited, we are very limited beings. We don't have right to just do whatever. And I think sometimes people need that reality. You don't just wake up and do whatever you want. Not in this world. That's why there's jail. Jail is to teach people that have failed to adopt to what is right and wrong. So if a person fails to adopt to what is right, jail is there to teach them or to enforce it upon them that this is what we say right is. And if you are not willing to adapt, we will force it upon you. Or we will put it upon you to a point where you are not kept. You see, jail is to remind a person who has gone beyond the necessary means so that we can function in a society. Jail is to rehabilitate a person into the society. You are incapable of doing so while you are here. You can't listen to the rules and allow people to be you, you will remember that in that video he even says that as a matter of fact a person who doesn't do what they believe must be killed and i'm like logic logic will tell you you don't say things like that but he just continues on <laughs> so here yeah, that mean i will respond back to you so my concern with uh, with nana Poku is his capability of knowing right and wrong it, it looks very skewed for a prophet this is the prophet Nanapuk, right? For a prophet, he is very skewed on right and wrong. 
then how do you preach salvation when you don't understand concept of right and wrong? How? How do you speak about repentance? How do you preach when you are saying that, no, when a person does what you don't like, you are supposed to kill them. How do you preach reconciliation when you have such a mindset? You know, because um, a person has a certain personality that they portray, and a certain group of people receive that, it doesn't make it right. It doesn't change it and make it right. And so when I saw this, uh, this response, it was a reminder. For me, when I, when I had the response, it was a reminder to say there is a limit. And I think a lot of people forget the limit. As a human being, I am limited to what I can restrict. I can't just go around restricting other people. Yeah, no, they, they don't owe me being... So therefore, now I must. <laughs> and so, the response is a reminder. I, that's how I heard it. You guys can tell me what you heard it. The response was a reminder: you are but just a man. There is a day when you will pass from this world. We mustn't function here as if we are God, or everybody owes it to us to be what we say that they must be. This, that's what I had. Y'all, y'all guys can tell me what you had. For me, that's what I had. A reminder to be as human as possible. To be a, remind, a reminder that you are just another person. You are a human being. And some people forget that. They become too big. Paul even rebukes one brotherhood in Corinthians. He says, let us not be, mi- let be mindful not to be too higher than what we ought to. Not to esteem ourselves higher than others. What do you call it when a person esteems themselves to this particular level where you feel like other people deserve to die because they preach a different doctrine to you? And you think yourself too. So this was just a reminder. You say, remember, you are just but man. It is God that decides all. But maybe you guys heard something else. Is Ricky? Uh, you can tell us down in the comment section. They said, Oga. Calm down. Chicken, you cannot kill. 